This is a great example of a question where people who think too rigidly about math are going to have some trouble, whereas the rest of us might be okay. So you might be looking at this and be like, oh, surface area. I know the surface area of a cube is going to be 6x squared, where x is the side of the cube. So in this case, it'd be 29. But the reason that doesn't work is they've changed the situation. The story is saying it's a box that does not have a lid. So you could amend the formula to remove the lid, but more importantly, just think about surface area, right? Just think about it as a concept. To me, surface area and perimeter are very similar. We don't want to memorize a bunch of formulas. We want to think about what the concept means and adapt it to the situation, right? So yes, we could be dealing with surface areas of normal shapes like cubes, but also sometimes it's weird. And so we're better off just understanding, okay, what is surface area? It is the sum of all the faces. So in this case, we have one face of our see if I can draw a, a uh, lidless, I guess it would look like this, right? A lidless box, right? So one face is a square. So it's a square. We can pull it off if we need, and that's 29 by 29, which is, all right, regular calculator, 29 times 29 is 841. And then there are five of these things, right? There's the front, there's the back, the left, the right, and the bottom, but no top, no top, right? So it's just five times 841, and we could do that in the regular calculator, 4205 is my answer. So in a way, it ends up being very similar to the original formula. We would just need to make the addendum that, okay, it's not 5x squared, it's, or it's not 6x squared, it's 5x squared. But, you know, I, I just, I, I know how this SAT is going to work. They're going to give you situations where it's even more twisted, even more off of the original formula. So just understanding the concept of surface area is safer. Um, but there you go. If you did get it wrong and, you know, that's because you used the 6x squared formula, please let me know in the comments. I am curious if I called it for anybody. But yeah, try to be flexible. And with geometry especially, you will be fine. Perimeter and surface area in particular, they're not formulas that are given to us in the reference chart. And that's because they're not formulas to memorize per se. Memorize the concept of perimeter and surface area and you'll adapt to whatever they give us.